This is how to improve and unlock your espresso to prevent similar situation. This unique video will be a little longer, but it will be worth it. I will guide you through the entire preparation and give you my point of view. Why this video is unique? Because I won't even use bottomless porta filter. I'm not even a professional world class barista, but for that I can make amazing espresso and I want to help people like me and show them the power of home espresso. Many baristas made videos on this topic, but in the most cases it was said that you are without additional accessories will not make good coffee. Is it true? Well this is the barista know that we don't. Is it the expensive coffee machine they are using? Is it the bottom sports filter? Do they have better equipment? Obviously they know something we don't. If you think that buying such equipment will help you to get a better espresso, then I will disappoint you. Look, I have been to coffee shops where they had extremely expensive equipment, a coffee machine, a grinder, and they made disgusting coffee. How? It's simple like giving a beginner professional lightweight bike and a professional cyclist a regular bike and thinking that the more expensive bike will help him be an experienced rider even the most expensive bike will never replace years of experience. Then I was surprised that I can make a better coffee than some coffees. It's only about experience. This equipment will help you, but I notice that many people look for fault where there is none. As James Hoffman once said... So the said, hero bullshit of entrepreneurship, of like I must grind myself down, I'm a fucking hero, I'm working super hard, I'm doing it right. And it's such bullshit, and it's such a toxic aspect of all work, I hate it, but I definitely worked 110 hour weeks for like months. Mm. Ground myself down to the point. As you can hear, James Hoffman's success was not built quickly, but through the hard work and years of experience. And he almost starts to hate what he likes, just maybe some one of you starts thinking that what kind of coffee would I make to you with my coffee machine for a 200 euros, but it's not about how expensive coffee machine you have, but either what kind of experience you do. And this thing is what I exactly found too, that uh, I can prepare a good coffee without additional accessories. Okay, and we are moving to the point number one, which is... Uh, right kind of coffee. Now you are might be thinking what kind of stupid point is that? I know some people who really do this thing that buy an expensive coffee machine and when I ask what kind of coffee they put in the espresso machine they show me some uh, ground coffee or something like that. This is a huge mistake because people buy an expensive coffee machine and go to the store or uh, some supermarket and after they buy the coffee machine start thinking what kind of coffee should I buy? But I'm looking mm. This coffee is not, this is so expensive. Ah, this is on sale for a one kilogram for a eight euros. Mm, this sounds great. I should buy these three packages and I go satisfied home and uh, I'm uh, open the package and I realize that I don't have a grinder. Or if you have a grinder built in your coffee machine, this is good. But some people is scenario number two to go to the store and mm, this free ground coffee is so cheap and okay I buy it and try to make the coffee on it. After I came home from store and just put the coffee beans into my grinder, grind it and put it to the lever, damp it and make an espresso. It looks great, it smells great, but I try to taste it and it is so terrible. And why is this? Because what you put in the coffee machine will come out. Even the most expensive coffee machine in the world can repair the lost flavors in the coffee, but buying pre-ground coffee loses your espresso potential because the ground coffee in the package has been there for uh, some time and the flavors in it to start disappeared and the crema will not be as rich due to the loss of CO2. Before I recommend it buying a freshly roasted 100 or 200 grams packages because this coffee don't start losing flavor over time and small amount grams packages which have a best flavor in 10 to 30 days after roasting date because the old cheaply roasted coffee beans don't have a carbon dioxide which creates in the roasting process and uh, it is the main thing what make you a crema on the top of the espresso and uh, okay this is the choice of coffee in terms of quality but 
What about the right kind? How to find if I prefer dark roast or light roast or arabica or robusta? If you don't know how to choose the right kind of coffee, simply go to the coffee store or to the cafeteria or buy smaller packages. If you already have an espresso machine, taste this uh, kind of coffee. Or if you don't want to go to the store or taste coffees in cafes, then call your mom and ask her. Just kidding, I will make video about it. In this video, I will teach you how to choose the right kind of coffee and uh, how to properly taste coffee. If you like Arabica or Robusta or Dark Rose or Lighter Rose And you might be surprised how many flavors is hidden in coffee And we are going to the point number 2 And as you would expect the point number 2 will follow up the point number 1 So At first when you buy a great coffee Next you need a good grinder Point number 2 is grinder and grind type First of all I personally think that investing in a good grinder is more important than you think With a good quality grinder you can prepare excellent coffee even with mocha pot Then with an expensive coffee machine and aged coffee coffee from the supermarket or cheap grinder and this is why our pressurized porta filters are just set to correct errors and unevenness of grinding with higher pressure okay next grinding thickness and quality are the main points for even and balanced coffee extraction so what is the right degree of grinding better question would be how to choose a quality grinder the answer is simple it's very bad to buy ground coffee it's great to have a manual grinder that will make your coffee brutally enjoyable but often these manual grinders that grind well are expensive that's why it's better for me to get an electric grinder with good grinding quality and divide the range for gr of grinding thickness for maximum preference tuning. I will tell you, I start with hand grinder for 20 euros but I couldn't grind my coffee as finest as I need but then I figured it out how to easily and quickly change it to a better grinder that will good finer. However, there was sketch although the grinding was finer but the pieces of the ground coffee were not the same size. This can also be correct by putting coffee on paper, spilling it and leaving very small pieces is on the paper but this was always excellent for me now i have this electric grinder which i'm very happy with not everyone can afford such grinder although it is not the world best but for me is great i will tell you one thing tough if you don't have a good enough grinder and you are thinking about buying bottomless porta filter <laughs> i will stop you before it's too late because poorly ground coffee and bottomless porta filter will turn your espresso into a nightmare although bottomless porta filter can bring you a taste of your espresso you must have a quality grinder especially for finer grinding bottomless porta filters will also show error in coffee temping but these are experiences that's why i don't use a bottomless porta filter either first of all i don't see that much of difference for me at first is a quality grinder on the second is the right grinding thickness if this if these two points are met your espresso will be downright delicious even without bottomless it's not an art to make a good a good coffee with a machine for a 20,000 euros and a grinder for a 5 500 euros it is an art to conjure up a similarly good coffee at home from your own coffee machine as i already said Said, in some cafes they have expensive equipment but they still make a bad coffee because my mom and my sister was in the coffee shop and they ordered cappuccino and got this and when i uh, look at this i give you this video on this video and look at it and tell me that it's normal or unnormal <laughs> it's not the equipment that makes the barista barista but it's practice and i'm convinced that you too can make a great coffee at home give it time learn how to things work and then you will be surprised certainly my espresso is not comparable to a world-class barista performance but there is no need I just want to enjoy quality espresso in the comfort of my own. Okay, back to the all cheaply coffee beans. Not only have a terrible flavor, but they can significantly diminish the grinding zones because cheaper coffees often contain hard pieces, and you always have to think not about the price but also about the quality, as we already said. Okay, and what is the next point? Point number three is settings and those. When settings, we pay attention to correct temperature. The darker the roasting is, the hotter the water should be. In short, like roasting requires a lower temperature due to a loss of fruit tones and also requires a slightly coarser grinding so that the fruit flavors are not burned during the extraction and the extraction temperature should be 94 degrees Celsius while medium roast 95 degrees celsius and finer grind and finally the darker roast finest grind and temperature 96 degrees celsius of course it's about personal preferences these are just recommendations personally i don't have these precise settings on my coffee machine but i still try to regulate it using the settings of the coffee machine now let's move to the care of the coffee machine and is care important certainly yes 
If you don't take a good care of your espresso machine, don't expect a good results. That's why I recommend it rising the clean water head of the coffee maker and wiping it with towels and removing dirt. Do this after every preparation as well as always after using steam one. These small steps will help you to make a better coffee but we mustn't forget to do this scaling is very important and should be done as soon as possible. The feeling of the lever is also important and it depends on how fine you grind the coffee and the size of your basket. It's not good to have overdose or underdose because it can affect the extraction. The extraction can be either too slow resulting in burn or too fast. And now I'm uh, moving to These three parameters are important. Damping pressure, it should be around 9 to 14 kilograms. Evenly press the coffee. Be careful not to disturb the coffee bed after damping. We can gently turn the temper. Many people use various tools to press the coffee, but I only use damper and I don't think that buying such tool is necessary. And extraction time should be between 25 to 30 seconds and the amount of hot water you see should be 25 to 40 milliliters. We set the temperature at the beginning either cold, medium or hot. I personally have a hot one and increase the temperature by pressing the steam button, wait until it flashes a few times, until the boiler is loaded and then I press another button and start the extraction as soon as possible because if you wait too long, freshly ground coffee beans start losing their flavors. When it comes to the crema, it depends on the freshness of the coffee roasting and mainly on the CO2 content. The crema is paler and less rich with lighter roast, but with dark roast aim primarily at the preparation of espresso, the crema is richer and has an other color. With ground coffee, there is significantly less or very little crema, so I recommended grinding the coffee before preparation and, and pouring it to the grinder only as many grams as we will put into the porta filter so that the coffee in the grinder does not lose its flavors unnecessarily. Finally, I will tell you some bonus tips that I personally apply when preparing espresso. The first point is timing. Timing is important due to efficient preparation of coffee and saving time. AG, I will summarize the normal process of every average person. He has water already poured into the water tank from yesterday. He turns on the coffee maker. While it heats up, he grinds his coffee, put into the porta filter. He presses the button. However, I do certain things differently and aid to that. Enjoy the process and cleaning tips. The second thing. What I am doing different is enjoy the process. For some, this point is trivial, but every time I prepare coffee I feel good. I try different grind size, different techniques, I play with process, I track the extraction and the milliliters. These small points will help you find your own way to prepare espresso as fit to you. And I hope that this video will help you to unlock the undiscovered corners of espresso. And the point number three is cleaning tips. Well, the things I do differently are my coffee preparation process. I always try to have the freshest possible water in the water tank. I turn on my coffee maker, wait for it to heat up. In the meantime, I wait 11 grams of coffee, which I pour into the grinder. I grind 0.5 grams into a container, No, I have a coffee machine heater. There is clean, fresh water in it. I start the coffee grind. I put the ground coffee in a porta filter. I press it with a temper, put porta filter to the coffee machine, press the button to start the extraction. When the extraction finished, I take out the lever, I put it on the sink, I put the cup under the head of the coffee machine, I press the extraction button and into the cup pieces of ground coffee will leak out. Set it on the bottom of the coffee machine head. Then I wipe it dry with towel. I make sure that the head of the coffee machine is clean. Then I either clean the porta filter or go to prepare milk for cappuccino, latte art, but about that later in the next video. If these steps were useful for you and you like coffee as much as I do, rose the subscribe button, like and remember, select coffee, enjoy the process, correct brewing and grinding technique. This video was created from my own experiences and my knowledge about coffee. I did research through the videos of James Hoffman as well as other YouTubers or baristas in this video, I wanted to gather all my knowledge into the one video and I hope that it will be useful for someone without using bottomless porta filter, without the use the expensive tools such as the scale is more expensive than the coffee machine itself or coffee tamping tools. I hope that with this video I have shown beginning baristas that preparing coffee is not about how expensive tools you have but about what you can do best without them and this is nice about preparation of coffee. Have a nice day and better with coffee. El Cortador. See you in the next video.
antes para Metref. Eh, ¿Por qué tú, tú crees? 